I'm a service manager in a short-term assessment rehabilitation service in Dumfries and Galloway. We're a multidisciplinary short-term team. That means we have nurses, occupational therapists, physiotherapists. We link heavily with social workers. Everyone has their own language or their own tools. Iron creates a universal language and a very objective way of summing up what someone's needs are at a given moment in time. Health, social care and housing are at the front line of the challenges presented by an ageing population and a care profession under pressure. To address these new challenges, we need a method of gathering information that is useful both to frontline staff and those who plan and organise care. The Indicator of Relative Need, or IRN, is a straightforward data collection tool used to better understand people's functional needs. The development has involved frontline practitioners from the outset. It has also brought in the skills of analytical and information staff, and that fusion of skills and talent has allowed the IRN to serve a number of different purposes. I am a clinical services manager in the West of Fife and I manage services that provide rehabilitation with multidisciplinary teams providing support for people coming home from hospital or where possible preventing them going into hospital in the first place. The Iron's given us a unique tool and it's been really good because any of the staff in the team can use it and it's provided us with data um, which we couldn't get from any other source we've been able to actually give visual demonstration of the benefits of the, what we are providing as a team through data. So instead of just being able to say we've seen 300 people this month and we've discharged so many people, we've actually seen 300 people and made a difference to 300 people. I think that's where it's made the key differences for us. The iron draws on the answers given to a concise set of questions. These document the person's independence on important aspects of function. The questions are easily answered by a practitioner or a clinician who knows the person well. They cover themes such as the person's mobility and how independently they carry out tasks like washing themselves or preparing a meal. They also inquire about aspects of mental well-being. Iron data documents change in an individual's needs and, at a big picture level, charts the outcomes for groups of people receiving care. I'm an occupational therapist, but I am um, the team manager in Housing with Care and Housing with Care Rehabilitation Service in the Falkirk Partnership. IORN is a very sensitive tool that it looks at both physical and cognitive needs. It generates key reliable data for managers and team leaders. Having that data ensures that we have the person with the highest need coming into the service either to have a housing with care property or to receive the housing with care rehabilitation service. I am a service manager for older people in Midlothian for the Health and Social Care Partnership. I am a social worker and I also chair the Social Work Scotland Older People's subgroup. The majority of staff have really embraced it, which is social workers, OTs, physios. Uh, we're trying to introduce it with other frontline staff, but on the whole it's been really positive. I would recommend Iron to others. It provides a range of tools, not only just to see how the individual's doing, but also as a planning tool overall when you're trying to evaluate services. Iron 2 has now been used in a number of parts of Scotland by a range of teams. We now have firm evidence in practice that the IRON2 is a tool that is really useful for frontline staff and for managers alike.